this is the Kaiser Slimline 2. Hola YouTube, my name is Ricardo Lino and I'm a wheel addict. As a wheel addict, I usually need a way to connect my wheels to my boots. And just like everyone else, I use frames, right? On my aggressive skates, I've been using these boots most of the times, which are the AM skates, and they don't need to connect. I don't need to think about that because the frame is part of the boot, basically. It's like a, a one-piece construction. But, a few weeks ago, I got these skates, these USD 7s with a Trimax frame and I've been wanting to try them with some aggressive skating frames. So, I went to the shop and I started looking at all the frames that I have there and I ended up choosing these. This is the Kaiser Slimline 2. So, I'm gonna open, I'm gonna unpack them right now here in camera so you can see what's in the package so basically this is the biggest size there's three different sizes there's the small the medium and large and this is the biggest one which is i think probably the longest frame on the market i think if i'm not mistaken it's 272 millimeters let me just confirm it so this frame is 277 millimeters which is super long for an aggressive skating frame it's the second version of the slim line and it came out in 2011 i did skate the first edition and i don't know what's the main difference in between the first edition and the second one but let's first see what else is in the package frames two frames and this little Bag. In this little bag, you'll find the axles, which are rockerable axles, because on this frame, you'll be able to pull the wheels down and up. Basically, I'll explain that in a second. Then it comes with all those little things, the spacers that you need to have in between the wheels, the rockers for all the wheels too, and it also comes with the frame bolts that will fix them to the boot. And that's it. You have the full package for all the wheels here. And of course it comes with this Kaiser package that you can put your frames like just easier to, to keep them organized. It's weird, but it's true. You can actually go up to 80 millimeters on these skates. Obviously, if you're going to be using 80 millimeters, you can't go flat. Kaiser says that this is a flat frame, but as a flat frame, the biggest wheel size that on the website they say that you can put is up to 58 millimeter wheels. But I know that Dustin Werbeski has been skating with his wheels and they are 59 millimeters and he's been skating flat with these frames and 59 millimeters. From what I know or from what I see when I look at this frame, what makes it not able to put bigger wheels it's because it's a ufs so it's good that it's ufs because it's universal you can put all the skates but at the same time because it's ufs the bolts are going to be on the way of the middle wheels and that's what's creating the problem here see now some other features on this frame is if you look at this frame from above or from the bottom you'll see that this middle part is like a little bit more narrow so when you're going to do a grind this part it's actually not touching the grinding surface making it faster for macios and fish brains and all those soul tricks if you look at here also the grind walls are actually thick see here and here the whole thing that goes across so if you look at these and if you imagine like only these and this part are grinding so when you do a maki or a sole there's only this little piece and this little piece touching and this is supposed to make the grind a lot faster also the plastic is super super rigid super super hard and that will make you grind fast like i said before it's a rockerable frame which means that you can pull the wheels down or up 
and there's a few different setups that you can do I would say like you can go flat like I said they say 58 but you can go a little bit bigger you can use them as a regular anti-rocker with like 58s or 55s or 60s or you can go even go 62 64 up to 80 like I told you on the edges and then in the middle you just put anti-rockers which are small wheels and then on the small wheels you can put plastic anti-rockers you can put really hard urethane you can play a bit with that you can play with the sizes you know that you can go up to 58 I don't think you're gonna use 58 anti-rockers but you could and you can use also these other type of rockering that might be helpful for some of you I don't know like I know that some skates like the K2 people feel like they're super flat like if you're falling backwards because of this rocker rockering system you can just pull the front wheels up and then pull the back wheels down and that will balance your frame a little bit more so you'll feel a little bit more like you're not falling backwards because your heel is a little bit raised but these are just some of the things that you can do and you can also do that by just changing the size of the wheels if you use like 55s in front or 60s in front and 68s in the back you'll play a little bit with that for me i'm planning on using them with these wheels these are the 60 millimeter roman abrat wheels from undercover and the profile of this wheel is like really round and i'm really excited to try this i could go flat with 58 the dual durometer for from undercover but i really want to try i want to give it another try to and to anti-rocker so i'm going to use these wheels i'm going to be using the a back seven bearings from wicked just simple bearings affordable not too expensive i think like a set of these would cost you like 15 bucks so for four wheels and I just say for four wheels because then I'm going to be using them anti-rocker and because I didn't even add four anti-rocker wheels yes I have a skate shop and I didn't add wheels for me I didn't want to take them from any other skate so I have four undercover anti-rockers I think these are like 49s or at least they seem big or 45s and these are like some ground controls that come on some old frame the noisy ones these are usually really noisy so we'll see if I can even grind with this so I'll be skating them anti-rocker I'm excited to skate with this frame again and yeah I used to skate it an interesting fact on this frame is like if you want to paint it you can paint this top part which is not going to touch anything and the the color is actually going to stay I remember there was a few version of this frame that had like some stickers here so you can just write whatever you want on this top part because the only grinding parts the only parts that will touch while you grind it's the lower part so it's actually quite cool so I guess that's it so let me show you how my setup looks like And now let me show you some clips of me skating with this. All these tricks were done without wax and this anti-rocker's noise it's killing me gotta do something about it back to you in the studio Lino and that's it I hope you enjoyed this video if you did enjoy this video do not forget to subscribe to the channel let me know what you would like me to do some of these reviews or what else you would like to see on this channel again if you really like the video give me some thumbs up that's important for me to know if you enjoy the content or not if you don't like it give me a thumbs down but it's also important that you let me know why you don't like it right that makes sense and more important than anything else don't forget why we all started skating because it's fun don't be afraid to smile go for it cheers <laughs>